Hey everyone and welcome to the first section of this course on how to create a directory website with WordPress for free. A directory website is basically a searchable catalog of different listings like companies, events, real estate properties, classified ads and so on. The main purpose of such websites is to help people easily find listings they are looking for and connect them with those offering the listings. For example, TripAdvisor, Yelp and Craigslist are some of the most popular directory websites you might have had of. By the end of this course you'll be able to build the same directory website as you see on the screen, but with your own listing categories, custom listing fields and search filters. And of course, custom styling that matches your company or brand. In this course I am going to use WordPress, the most popular website building platform. HivePress, a free plugin for building any type of directory and listing websites, and ListingHive, a free WordPress directory theme. Before you start building the website itself, you need a domain name and a hosting plan. A domain name is basically a unique website address, like this one, and hosting is required to keep your website online and store its files. If you don't have a domain name yet, you can check the available names via Namecheap one of the most popular domain registrars. Once you come up with your domain name, you can simply type it and check the available options. For example, I'll try mydirectory.com. As you can see, there are many options that differ in price and domain zones, so you can choose the one that meets your budget and requirements. Keep in mind that a domain name is a really important part of your future online business, so try to make it unique, catchy and easy to pronounce. The shorter it is, the better. After you register a domain name, you need to choose a hosting provider for your website. If you register a domain name via Namecheap, you can also use their WordPress hosting or check if your domain registrar offers WordPress hosting. It may be a good idea to do your own research and choose a WordPress hosting provider that matches your website performance requirements. I highly recommend using VPS hosting rather than a shared one, since your website will be hosted on a standalone virtual server with its own guaranteed performance capabilities. Regardless of the hosting provider you choose, most of them offer one-click WordPress installation. This means that once you purchase a hosting plan, you'll be able to get WordPress up and running in one click. By the way, even if you don't have a domain name and a hosting plan yet, you can still follow this course and create your own website using the local app. It allows you to create a WordPress website locally on your computer, so you can start building your website without any investments at all. After you build a website locally, you can then move it online after you register a domain name and purchase a hosting plan. I will leave all the links to the mentioned resources in the video description. Alright, now let's move to the next section, where I'll show you how to install the necessary plugins and a WordPress theme. 